D mate M3. So let me know when you're in position. I have your words for you. Okay, copy. I'll need the arm just for a couple of minutes. Copy. Okay, you have about 20 centimeters. Okay, 20 centimeters port, uh, 30 zenith. Okay, copy. 20 port, 30 zenith, and I'm entering mode now. All right, I'm ready, and I'm going to start with the port left on the handkerchief. Starting motion. Good motion. Happy good motion. Wait a second. Do I kind of do this socket swap? Yes. I don't want to rush this, so let me uh, look. Yeah, take your time on that. Now, I'll, I'll, I'll do this in a second. I'll look at you. Oh, slow, slow is faster on that one. I know, that's why I'll, I'm going to go with this first. Thing. That's right. Back is blocking by you. That's a lean, do a lean back. Um. Well, I'll see you soon. Um, okay, no problem. Uh, no, no, no. Wait, wait. I, I know where to go. TC, um, as you're doing that, um, you're going to do in the bolts, I think, um, and you're going to be PRC in the right here where my right hand is. Uh huh. Yeah, I see the bag, and I think that'll be fine. Okay. All right, after um, at the uh, vent, tension uh, tool uh, bag. Hey, Oscar, what's our. Um Providing a bit of size perspective, uh, you can see the spacewalkers uh, down the starboard truss of the International Space Station, dwarfed by the massive uh, modules and other structures of the International Complex as it orbits 220 miles above the Earth. Oh, that's great. And we're actually ahead of the timeline. Okay. And Will, I'm almost ready. I'll be doing um, some meter down on the hand controller, followed by uh, station apps pull on the hand controller. Okay, copy. That makes sense, too. Whew, good. Yeah. And I'm ready for motion when you are. I'm ready. Okay, starting motion. Starting with Nader. Hey, Oscar. Go ahead, Tracy. Uh, first, the uh, J1 and J2 are out of the way and they're shaded now, and they have um, MLI and the JSP bags covering them up. Right, and we saw what you did. That looked good. So let me know when you're ready for uh, your PGT settings for release of bolts 1, 2, and 4, not 3. Okay. Copy, not 3. Uh, quick question. Um, be uh, BRT to this uh, pump. Uh, yes, you can BRT to the no, wait a oh, NTA. Is that what you're getting ready to ask? That's, uh, that's, that's a better idea, I think. Uh, I know how I'm going to get the full four. I guess I can convert it here. Oh, it's just. And Tracy, just a heads up on other stuff. Yes we have to do is we'll also need to get all the bags off the front of the pump module and release these three bolts. You can do it in any order. It's your call. Okay, let me, um, how about I get the bags off of it first? Copy. Sounds like a good plan. 
Okay. I'm gonna go start with with them. This way. Where, where I can see. Two of them said there's clear other than my vet to the uh, pump. Copy, you gotta go for pump mantle removal. Hey, Kathy, I'll be uh, taking you forward away from the truss about two meters. Copy that. the hand controller, here we go. Starting motion. Good call, Tracy. Hey, you're free of the guide, but not free of the truss yet. Good. Trust, but not clear of me. Okay, I see clearance between uh, the Edison stowage bag and the pump module. Hey, Kathy, I've got about another half a meter or so to go. Okay. How you doing, Will? Doing good. Better be still with this thing. <laughs> okay, stop the motion. Okay, I'll get my advisors in. Okay, I got the, uh, <laughs> I can't tell you how, uh, much of a triumph this feels right now. But I have that, uh, MLI flap open, um, logging the pump module. And I'm wondering how go about getting a wet on that thing. Back in we're sharing this while I'm pausing. Yeah, Tracy, on the top left corner, as you are looking now, there should be a loop on the lid that you can use to uh, ret to to hold it open. We saw you attach one end of the ret down to the uh, frame. That looked okay. Oh, I see. Well, I am. Uh, I let go of the one by the frame, but uh, I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do. Uh, I see what you're talking about now, and I'll that it work. All right, and we don't think it's going to take much to hold it open. So we think that'd be... Funny. I don't need... Well, right, right, right now it's uh, open, and I feel really good about that. Okay, I'll start at the uh, MLI ready to see the uh, frame here. Copy, Tracy. Next step is to start pulling uh, the tape off. There should be six pieces. Okay. Should be a little tab. Yeah. Okay. And Tracy, we think the easiest thing is to get it most of the way off so it's still captured and then tether to it and then take it off the last wrap. Okay. Let me get the sensor hanging out here <laughs> from the SP2. Can I see it in my helmet, Kim? I'm sorry, what were you saying, Tracy? The tape? This is you that... No, no, no. No, for me it's P2. I really get the sense that you're hanging out. <laughs> oh, because it's got... Yes, but, yeah. I agree. That should be another place we warn people about. Yeah, something. Man, it hurts. That's the water. Piece of paper. Caldwell Dyson uh, admiring uh, the view from 220 miles above the Pacific Ocean as the International Space Station moves from northwest to southeast in its orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator, approaching the six-hour, ten-minute mark in today's spacewalk.